Hello everyone, my name is Camila Lima Pires. I'm an AC technical consultant at Summit Technologies in Calgary, Alberta. For those unfamiliar with Summit, Summit is a team of professionals that provides BIM consulting services and software committed to improve the way the buildings are designed, built, and operated. Today's topic is we'll focus on the new feature of Revit 2018, the browser organization for schedules. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using one of the sample projects from Revit. Um, when you open your browser organization, now you have a tab for the schedules. And when you create one, this window will pop with two options for organizing. With one is filtering, the other one is grouping and sorting. Um, the filtering option, you can filter by category, phase, phase filter, schedule type, view name, and view template. So I'm going to go through the category here as an example. You can pick either equal to or not equal to in one of the categories. So when you apply this one, then you have filtered all the, the, the specific category that you filtered. For the group and sorting, you can also group by the same um, options for filtering. So when you filter by category, you will show all the categories that you, uh, your schedule has been created and the same idea with the phase. So you have the existing and the, I have the new, the existing and the new construction now. And by phase filter, also um, when you don't have anything set up, Revit usually created one tab called none for those that doesn't have anything in set up. Um, the schedule type uh, is based on the schedule type that you created. So now we have schedules such as the building component schedule, which is this first option here, uh, the key schedule, material takeoff, and a sheet list. I want to combine this one here using the view name. So the, after I set up this one by schedule type, I can go here under the view name and for this one, I'm going to use in deleting characters and I have set up before um, a naming convention for my schedules. For example, I use the CD as a prefix and the DP as well. But now I want a sub uh, division in my schedule quantity. So the way that I do this, I just pick the two leading characters because of that I want to, to read this two. And after I click OK, now I have the subdivision. Uh, just be careful when you don't have any naming convention set up. Revit still pick the two leading characters. And we're not going to make much sense. So just be careful when you're naming your schedules if you're using this option. The last option is the view template. I'm going to pick none here. Now I don't have any view template set up, so I'm going to create a new one. And I will just duplicate one of those. And then you can after add your requirements here. So let's click OK. So I have a created one template for the door schedule. So I can come here and I, I can add all my door schedules to this template. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions implementing Revit Summit can definitely help you. Feel free to contact us. Our numbers are on the screen. Also, you can visit our website and our blog for more information about us.